how do I do it? What did you eat? Where do I start? You just fucking start. It's hard. It's fucking hard. It's a marathon. It's a lifestyle change. But everything's hard. Feeling like shit is hard. Looking like shit is hard. So pick your hard. Understand that it's never going to be perfect. There's going to be setbacks. There's going to be failures. And the only way to succeed is every time you fucking fall, you get back up and grind again. Hey guys, welcome back. My fitness journey has not always been a linear one. It was never just a straight path. It was very rocky. I used to be the laziest, no drive, no passion, no discipline, no structure having person ever. But I fell in love with fitness and through that I was able to not only transform my body but transform my mind as well. I never played any sports. I was not physically active. I actually hated every form of physical activity. And it wasn't until 2017 when I met one of my really good friends who literally dragged me to the gym. And honestly, I only went to the gym because I was bored. So I would just sit around and kind of watch him train as well. And he will always used to tell me if I got started with training, I would have an incredible physique, this, that, 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 that. I was super skinny. Like I was weighing about 42, 40 43 kilograms so I didn't think that fitness was for me so I would always usually just kind of like push the idea of training away it just started with me doing a few exercises he would teach me how to do a squat and that is kind of how I picked it up in the beginning I was I remember I was 22 23 years old I was broke I was still in uni I was about to graduate I was actually writing my thesis and I was a broke student I couldn't afford gym clothes I could not afford gym shoes I couldn't even afford a gym membership like I had nothing I started with zero I did get to a point where I lost every bit of motivation that I had and I actually stopped going to the gym months after I started in 2017 I was insanely depressed and I actually lost all of the gains that I had made in the in the few months that I was training and I remember going down to the lightest that I had ever been I was weighing about 40 kilograms and I used to be very very skinny I'm gonna put a picture up here or up here and this was the lightest that I've ever weighed. I remember I was stressed from school. I was broke, like I said. So just the cost of me even going to the gym was like the cost of me eating twice a day. So I was like, I don't even know what the point of all of this is. So I just completely lost the motivation that I had to train and I stopped being consistent. It wasn't until early 2018 because I stopped going to the gym for like five or six months that I picked it back up again. I just graduated from uni and I didn't have any structure or really anything to look forward to to be honest. And that's when I decided that I was going to go back to the gym and I was going to be consistent. I was going to take it super seriously. And one of the ways I told myself that I was going to hold myself accountable was to create my social media account. So I was just posting my fitness journey, keeping myself accountable, posting my workouts on Online, and that is really how I got started with the social media aspects of fitness. Today I have an everyday wake up and workout routine for you guys. You can do this every morning before you leave the house. So let's get started. I was using my iPhone 6 and it had a broken camera so the quality was so bad but I was like, so what you're seeing now was just as a result of those years of consistency and those years of me just telling myself that I was going to stay disciplined, I was going to stay committed, I was going to show up regardless of how I felt. So I'm gonna talk about some of the things that have helped me achieve my physique. Something is flying around. So I'm gonna talk about some of the things that helped me achieve my physique and get to this point in my journey and also give you tips. Again, this is my journey, this is my story. So everybody is different, but these are like just general tips and tricks and just kind of like general experiences that could apply to everyone. First things first, of course, was my training. Now, I cannot talk about transformation without mentioning genetics. And it plays a huge part in how your body is going to look naturally with or without exercise. 
However, I feel like a lot of people like to dismiss people's hard work as just their genetics. People see me all the time in my photos and they're like, oh, it's because I have good genetics. And to an extent, yes, I do have, I consider myself as someone who does have good genes. However, my genetics have never woken me up in the morning and went to the gym for me. My genetics have never meal prepped for me or kept me consistent. Good genetics or no good genetics or whatever, it is very important for you to take care of your body. It doesn't matter what your genetics are. If you're not living healthy, if you're not taking Taking care of your body eventually it's gonna catch up to you I am super skinny naturally that's my genetics if I'm not consistently eating and eating high protein I will go back to being very lean and my body doesn't hold on to weight naturally which means I have to always do the work of lifting and eating so when it came to training I didn't actually have a fitness goal so probably like 2019 a year before that I was honestly just training just to train I loved it I finally had a routine I had structure I had something that kept me disciplined I had something that woke me up and got me out of bed in the morning but I didn't really have any set goal so I got to a point in early 2019 where I asked myself like what are you trying to achieve so I didn't actually learn how to train for my goals until about 2019 before that I was doing a lot of compound exercises so for leg days I would just do squats lunges leg press leg extensions and that's it and I noticed that my thighs were growing, like my quads were developing, but my glutes weren't really developing the way that I wanted them to develop. And I remember following a lot of Insta girlies on Instagram and I used to see their glutes and I always used to wonder like, how did they get glutes like that? Like I didn't have glutes like that. And I was training like five, six times a week, but I wasn't really getting the shape I wanted and that is when I learned that I had to be training for the booty oh my goodness you actually have to do glute exercises because I had done a bunch of research and I found out that you had to actually train your glutes separately like you had to do like glute isolation workouts and that's when I had to do hip thrusts and cable kickbacks and like uh, Bulgarian split squats and just exercises like that and that is when I began to incorporate glute workouts into my training So small tweaks in my workout helped me so much and I cut out a lot of the bullshit as well. I used to do so many exercises for my legs because I used to think that I needed like 20 different leg exercises just for my legs to grow and I didn't actually notice the most growth until I cut my workouts down and focused only on like doing 46 exercises per muscle group. Another thing that helps me was keeping my workout routine very consistent and not switching up my workouts every week. A lot of people make this mistake as well. You feel bored of the workout, so you find some new workout trend. And honestly, what helps me, like I said so much, was just following the same exact training split consistently and progressing with that. There are variations of different exercises, but don't neglect your core foundational exercises. All the other fancy workouts are just accessories and there are exercises that will always be more effective and efficient than others. Also, one of the mistakes that I made in the very beginning was overtraining. Like I used to train six days a week and I wasn't letting my body rest enough. I wasn't recovering from my workouts and this is a mistake as well that most people make. Overtraining their muscles. You have to allow your muscles to rest if you want it to grow. Once I cut down my training days to like four days a week, that's when I also started noticing the most growth because I was actually allowing my muscles proper recovery. So that's a really big tip. If you're trying to build your body, you have to allow your muscles to rest. For example, if you did legs today, don't go back and do legs tomorrow. You have to allow your legs at least 24 to 48 hours for it to recover from that workout before you hit it again so that is why it's always important to have training splits so that you're actually splitting up each body part and you're not hitting the same muscle group right after you've trained it already so that was a mistake that i made in the beginning so do not overtrain. In the beginning when I first started training, I didn't really quite understand how important nutrition was for my body goals and just how important nutrition was in general for your fitness. So I didn't understand how to eat. I didn't even know what to eat. So I had periods where I would eat everything and then I also had periods where I wasn't even eating enough. So I'd end up eating like 1,200 calories a day. 
and then I wonder why I wasn't putting on any weight. I was putting the work in the gym, the fitness part, the training part actually surprisingly came easy for me, but the nutrition part was so hard. So if you're on a weight gain journey, you're trying to get slim thick, you need to be eating, okay? You cannot be eating once a day. You're putting all of that work in in the gym, sis. If you don't have an appetite, you have to go find it, okay? You have to go find your appetite. You have to eat. Another key thing that really helps me with maintaining a smaller waistline, as well as maintaining the definition in my abs whilst I was still gaining, was not drinking my calories. So I cut out every form of sugary beverages. I stopped drinking Coke and juice, and I only drank water. And I still, to this day, don't drink any sodas or even alcohol. I've never really enjoyed alcohol, so I don't drink that either, except on like certain occasions. And this really helps me maintain a leaner waistline also in the beginning i wasn't eating enough protein i had no struggle with eating carbs throughout my day but protein was really really hard so i began to supplement my diet with whey protein around 2019 and this helps me so much with gaining muscle and putting on more size and i've used so many different brands of whey protein over the years currently i'm using this one from prozies you've seen it in probably all of my training videos and it has 71 grams of protein so this really helps me with just building and maintaining my lean muscle also another big mistake that i was making i used to dirty bulk so dirty bulking is essentially eating everything so you're eating a lot of unhealthy foods and that's what you don't want because when you eat everything you're going to put on a lot of body fat and that is what you don't want because you're trying to get slim thick you want the small waist but you also want the size and definition you should be eating a lot of clean protein more complex carbs as well so you need to minimize and cut down as much as you can all of that processed junk foods and fatty foods and fried foods that is not what you want you want to be eating more wholesome foods more foods that are going to help your body store less fat and also you need to be lifting weights okay so you eat the clean foods and then you lift weights to build the lean muscle that's going to allow your body to have that muscle definition so that you look toned and defined so that is what you want okay so no dirty bulking let's stop dirty bulking today if you watch to this point of the video and you need help with a training or nutrition plan i do have fully detailed nutrition plans on my website which includes a food shopping list meal options for your breakfast lunch dinner and your snack also i do have workout programs as well so whether you train from home or at the gym i have programs dedicated to helping you achieve your fitness goals now you do not need to be eating healthy a hundred percent of the time so just make sure that most times during your week you are actually eating healthy and then the other times you can treat yourself to whatever it is that you want another mistake that i made in the very beginning was also being very very restrictive with my diet i assumed that because you know i'm on a fitness journey or whatever i had to cut out all the foods that i loved from my diet so i was eating dry chicken breast i was eating salad so my diet now is of course less restrictive i don't count calories i'm not counting my macros i eat intuitively i know when i'm full i stop eating when i'm full the majority of the time i'm focusing more on my healthy meal preps and when i feel like having some pizza i'm gonna order some pizza and i'm going to enjoy myself because this journey is all about balance and in order for your fitness journey to be sustainable, you actually have to enjoy what you're eating. Now we've come to the topic of discipline and motivation. I was not motivated. I was disciplined. Like I told you guys, I stopped training for several months because I lost all the motivation that I had. I just didn't really... I just couldn't go anymore. I was just making excuses. It wasn't until I got to a point where I literally just sat down and I said to myself, you need to get your shit together. So I had to make up my mind. That was it. It was just a switch. I knew that they were just excuses. Fitness is a lifelong commitment. So you have to be consistent. Motivation, forget about it. Some of you clicked on this video and you're gonna be feel motivated. You're gonna see my results. You're gonna see my transformation. And once the video ends, you go about your day or your night and then you wake up tomorrow morning, life gets in the way and that motivation is gone. And that's exactly what motivation is. It's a feeling, it's an emotion. It's like being happy, it's like being sad. It's not always going to be there. So you have to find that discipline. Find that why why do you want to do this make a mental switch regardless of how i feel regardless of what's going on around me i'm going to stay committed to my goals so there is no magic when it comes to how to be consistent 
one thing that you have to know is that it takes time to see results. I know that's not what a lot of you want to hear because we're human and we want everything now. But usually if you're consistent with your training and your eating, you will see results within the first six months to one year. But results are progressive. So the more consistent you are, the better you get, the more you're going to improve how you look. But for me, my weight fluctuates all the time. Don't worry about how long it's going to take you to get there. It's a journey. Fitness is also a very mental thing. When you focus all your attention on results and you don't see the results quickly it's going to affect your consistency it's gonna affect your confidence and how you show up so you will see results quicker when you stop obsessing over them it's as simple as that when you're in the gym for a quick fix or if you're obsessing over seeing changes and you're measuring yourself at every single moment and you're trying to get on the scale after every single workout to see how much you weigh you're not going to last because your mind is gonna tell you that it's not working so what you're gonna do is you're gonna quit before you've even given it a good go. So results do take time. In conclusion, if my lazy ass can do it, so can you, okay? I personally fell in love with fitness because of how it made me feel. I was so much more confident. It gave me structure. I had a routine. For once, I had something to look forward to. A lot of you have seen a lot of transformation photos, a lot of transformation videos to last a lifetime. So let this be the final video that you watch. I want you to go out there, believe in yourself, work hard, because you are gonna be unstoppable, right? Right.